The Pacific Science Center has something new to offer every day in the realm of modern science. And earlier this April, climate scientists, game developers, artists, and musicians all took part in creative solutions in environmental communications. The unconventional collaboration between academics and games resulted in something marvelous. Earth Games. Welcome to our Earth Games 2018 Games for Our Future Surviving Climate Change Game Jam. I think you'll have a great jam. You'll learn a bunch. You'll probably walk away with a pretty cool project put in your portfolio. And maybe, if we're lucky, we'll change some minds about climate change. During the day when we're open to the public, families can just wander through and check out what the game jam looks like. One big element is kind of demystifying what the process of making something looks like. Right. We're in this field of serious games. I'm talking about games that have the ability to change people's behavior, uh, change what, how they believe, what they believe about things, and change what they do. The thing that games do that is unique is that they allow us to engage in other people's experiences. Right. What if we could all go to the woods? We had about 50 participants come and divide up into 10 teams and work on uh, some pretty amazing games uh, they came up with in 48 hours. We're, we're all too busy panicking ourselves to evaluate anybody else. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm with the team who made Drought Burger. Drought Burger is a burger shack simulation game played during a drought, and instead of paying for your burger ingredients with dollars, you pay in water. We really become trapped by a sense of inevitability about the structures that shape our lives. And I think that really the, the arts of imagination are a really powerful way to draw on word, on story, and on images to help us envision alternatives. For those of you who are game developers, you are storytellers. I have to just say, like, I'm gonna come here this weekend and try to make something that is like designed to send a message. One of the kind of guiding principles of the Science Center is to be a community laboratory in the living room. Um, I think kind of Game Jam hits both of those things. As a laboratory, we get to kind of think about how we can solve these amazing problems. As a living room, we're really um, creating an amazing space for these conversations. I think that the ideal is if the science can inspire new things that are interesting from a gameplay perspective. Environmental games are very much in their infancy. So there's so many games that are needed, right? And that's why the jam is very, very exciting to me. This level of collaboration between researchers and creatives holds great potential to revolutionize the way we communicate about systemic issues. With such diversity present at this year's Game Jam, everyone has a place to make a difference. Maybe it's even something you want to be a part of. <laughs> 